All right, hey yo guys, welcome to another Assassin's Creed. This is Memories 3, 4, and 5 for Sequence 2. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we are cramming three memories into this video, <clears throat> which means there's going to be a lot of speedy, ludicrous speedness in this because a lot of it is just completely self explanatory. So, jumping on in, throw the board your captain into the scaffold to kill him. <clears throat> Excuse me. You talk to Machiavelli, and he's you know talking about freeing the people and all that stuff. So you go over here, pickpocket some folks, jump into the hay bale so you can hide. Machiavelli gives you some money, and you buy some armor and a and a stiletto. So maybe you'll be meeting a stripper later. Don't know why. Go talk to this guy. Yada yada yada. You run over here, and then don't forget to raid that chest for a jar of leeches, which is good for healing, I suppose. <laughs> So yeah, there's really, this is all really self-explanatory, and he shows you your first Borgia Tower that you can ignite. So, <clears throat> here you go. So, and as you see here, it's a restricted area, so you kind of want to be careful about the route that you take around. And, um, so yeah, as you see, there's guards around around the area here, so I kind of am, like, indecisive about what I want to do at first. I'm like, should I go this way? Should I go that way? <clears throat> but, uh, eventually, I make it around, and I just go on in. And, um... I guess th th this may seem kind of difficult, but it's actually really easy. Um, I'm pretty sure... Oh, and you have to do this too. Remember? Wacha! Plus 50 style points. Remember that? Yes. Because to SEO style is everything. Take care of this guard. Goodbye, sir. Anyway, so moving right along. And um, so if you kind of take this path, I mean, I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do it. I kind of failed uh, at this one. But there's the Borgia Tower, and a tip that I have is kind of climb the Borgia Tower, like find a way to climb up the Borgia Tower. And you see actually right there, I was just looking at the scaffolding that you're going to eventually throw our lovely oh captain my captain into and pulverize him. Because apparently, you know, daintily falling wood is enough to kill a man in this game. But whatever, I'm not going to complain. So uh, if you just climb up the Borgia Tower like this, it's a good... Um, Climbing the Borgia Tower is a good way to kind of distract the guards because you want to, it's a lot easier if you kind of draw out the other guards first and then deal with the Borgia Captain last. This may seem kind of obvious, but I'm just, I'm just trying to help. So there are some conveniently placed ladders and you can look over this ledge here and you see the Borgia Captain is in that little archway there with guards and um, you shouldn't throw a throwing knife there because that guard has a two throwing knife health, I suppose. But, um, so now they've noticed me, so I just let these guards climb up, and I defeat them by knocking them off. And then this guy, now they're strapped with the dead bodies, so you jump down, assassinate this guy, and then speedy quick at this guy. There's the Borgia Captain, so now, see, I'm, all the other guards are done with, so the Borgia Captain, you simply just press B to grab. I would recommend uh, kicking him first, you know, so he's kind of like stunned, because he will block your, your grab. And uh, right here, you see the scaffolding there, just grab him, kind of move towards it, throw him, and goodbye, sir. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That is, that is that. And then you just want to loot these guys. And once again, I like to keep my, my roam streets clean, so into the hay bale they go. There's actually an achievement for that in Assassin's Creed 2 to put like five bodies, I think it was, into the hay bale. Uh, but I guess not in this game. <laughs> so then Machiavelli says that it didn't really help anything, so Ezio's like, oh, send him a message. And that means burning down the Borgia Tower. But I uh, get distracted and kill a bunch more guys. Uh, so then you climb this tower all the way up, press B to ignite, and you're down. And then he tells you to buy the stable. When you do, you'll get 100% sync. And right away, it jumps, you, pushes you right into the very next mission. So here we go. Cross dissolve. Full synchronization. Don't lose any health. Now, that may seem difficult, but all you're really doing is riding on a horse. I'm on a horse. Yeah! But uh, so... Here we go, ladies. So you're just following him, and then you, um, you'll eventually get to a cutscene where a thief steals your money, and all you do is chase after the, the thief and get your money back. See, here's the cutscene here. Get out of the, get out of the little weapon wheel. Um, so he's talking to him, and then um, the, a thief runs up, takes Ezio's money right there. Machiavelli's like, ha ha, he must be from the inner circle. Get them back, what he was stolen. That, that, that sentence didn't even make any sense. So... Ezio jumps off his horse because obviously taking your horse would not be fast enough. <laughs> this is actually really easy. I actually run right past the guy here. I didn't realize I was that far ahead of him. So all you do, it's so easy. You just run up and press B to tackle. And you get your money back. And Ezio's like, you know, before I regret sparing your life. But then I was like, nope, you know what? Screw you. Goodbye. I'm not sparing your life. And there you go. 100% sync. Don't lose any health. So 
That's why there's three memories jammed into this video because they're so easy, so self-explanatory, and they don't take that long. Next mission, here we go. I, I'm not gonna add. I'm not gonna leave in the parts where I travel to the next mission. I mean, you can do it. It's on the mini map. So, um, this one you'll see here in a second. Once I get out of this cutscene, you keep talking to Machiavelli about rebuilding Roma and all this crazy stuff because Ezio's a nice guy. He's a man of the people, and it's just oh, it's fantastic. It just gets me all teary-eyed thinking about it. Oh, what am I doing? I don't even know. So he's talking, telling you about the to intercept a letter <coughs> from the Borgia. So here you go. Here's your 100% sync, which is to catch the courier in under one minute. Once again, that might seem kind of difficult, but it's very easy because when you actually get to the courier, he is literally right there, and it took me like all of 10 seconds to catch him. So unless you're really bad at chasing people in this game and holding the A button and the left trigger, is it right trigger? Um, you will, you should have no problem whatever, do, whatsoever doing this. So, you walk over these guards. This guard has a giant sword. Look at that thing. <laughs> it actually changes like uh, for different times you play this game. I, I watched and I um, did this again in a different cutscene when I was playing it for the first time, and he had like a different weapon. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Nice little touch. I like variety. But um, so you just you just quickly dispatch of these men, and I'm getting hit by Machiavelli. Quit running me over, bro. I'm on your team. So, you, so you're helping you're helping the citizen. You save the citizen. Because it's you, like I said, a man of the people. He's a nice guy. He's all about style, women, uh, smelling good, remember, incense, and uh, helping people. Helping the citizens. I say that sums up Ezio in a sentence or two. <clears throat> so he's like, where's the letter? And the courier still has it. But look, the courier's like right there. He's like, Ezio, stop him. So you chase him into the Colosseum. And, you know, it's, catch him in under one minute. It's so easy. He's not very fast. You can sprint. And see right here, it took me, like, I don't know. That was, I don't know. That was probably less than 10 seconds. And there you go. 100% sync. You've got mail. Who's got mail? And then I, uh, I kill him because he looked at me funny. And I actually do recommend that because if you loot him, you actually get a ton of Fs. Is it 1,500 Fs, I believe? Let's see here. 1,500, yeah. And some Aconite, whatever that is. And like I said, I like to keep my Rome streets clean, even if it's the rundown Coliseum. So... Into the hay bale you go, little buddy, and uh, thanks for your, your Fs. And that's actually the end of this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, please leave your comments down below if you have any requests for memories that I jump to right away or whatever, or just stuff you'd like me to see me do. So yeah, see you guys later.